Hello! Magandang tanghali mga kababayan. How are you today? Kumusta na? I'm excited. Nagdamit ng kuya at nagsapatos pa. Dahil uh, next week or two weeks more, matatapos na ang lockdown dito sa amin, sa Europa, dito sa Holland. At pwede nang lumabas ulit at enjoy yung ating mundong kinaroonan. Welcome to our cooking series. Welcome to my small kitchen. Today, magluluto tayo ng international para matikman at para ma-develop yung ating panlasang Pinoy sa madaling putahe ng ibang bansa. You're watching Chal Huan and this is the World Cuisine Series presented in Taglas. Let's join Romulo in his small kitchen. Ngayon, it's easy pagkain pordoy, sabi na mga Bisaya, because it's pasta. Ito lang kailangan. Pasta lang at at garlic. Takutin ang mga bata. <laughs> This is a challenge, I'm sure. Siguro ayaw ng mga bata ito because I believe most of our children, I think, pati kikaw na nanonood ngayon, nasanay sa matamis na Jollibee at McDonald's or uh, Shakey's Spaghetti sa Philippines at uh, sa abroad. But this is pheasant cooking. Talagang pagkain from the imagine spaghetti lang at bawang. And to make the, of course, dahil spaghetti, mayroon tayong um, queso, parmesano, or kung wala kayong parmesan cheese, uh, yung Eden na keso will do good. Of course, dahil bawang na nga lang ang ating zahog, we need olive oil. Look how beautiful is my botelya ng olive oil. And, of course, we'll season it with salt. And, to enhance further the, the uh, nuttiness or to give it a nutty flavor, bigyan natin siya ng pine nuts. Yan. Pakita natin. Mamaya, I'll give you a shoot of the ingredients later and the uh, quantities in the description box below. Kung wala kayong pine nuts, dahil al alam ko mahirap hanapin ito sa Pilipinas, use any nut. Peanuts, cashew nuts, or ano yung isa? Yung buto ng kalabasa, pwede. What else you can imagine? Or talisa, pwede. Or langka, buto ng langka, any nutty flavor will help. Kung wala talaga, wala na. <laughs> okay, before we start, ipakita ko muna yung mga ingredients. A recap of the ingredients. Pasta of your choice. Parmesan cheese or any cheese. That is pine nuts, olive oil, salt and pepper. Don't forget the garlic. Wait to see. Ito yung bida sa ating recipe today. Italian cooking. So we'll be using fresh uh, uh, basil leaves to make pesto. It's spaghetti al pesto. We'll be making pesto from scratch from the garden of Channel Point. It's boiling now and we can, before adding the uh, pasta, lagin muna natin siya ng salt and oil. This is very nice. Yuck. Many will be editing. I won't be giving uh, lots of uh, close-ups today. Sa dami ng aking kwento na tuyo ang tubig. So we'll add more water. And we add the pasta. So while waiting for our pasta to cook, we'll prepare the uh, pesto sauce. Bayuhan ito. This. Chill. I perfect sana for preparing this. This uh, blades, asakayan, ilagay lang sana dyan at mm, the grind. Kanya. Or any food processor that you have, na pwedeng panggiling, is perfect. For this uh, recipe, but I have a problem. I can operate a machine. I have a very sensitive ear, left ear. Kaya. Let's do the bayo na lang. Mag bayo tayo. Let's start with the uh, 
for pine seeds first. Of course, this is easier with a food processor. And we can add the garlic. And the salt. The salt also helps in, in pounding. Yeah. This is easier with smaller almeres. I've got two sets of mortar and pestles, but I cannot find them. We're almost there. Patience, Romola, and bear with me. Now that we have a pasta, I mean a paste consistency, we can stop. We'll add the basil, a handful. They will regrow, so that's the advantage of growing your own uh, herb. Press. I'm not gonna wash them because I gave them a bath this morning. This much. And by your hand, then. To be honest, I'm not tempted to use the mixer. We'll add olive oil now. Our pasta cooked perfectly on time as we finish the pasta sauce. Not much. This is the cheese, parmigiano or parmesan, or if you don't have it, as I've said earlier, Eden is a good replacement. And don't forget the pepper, freshly ground. Just give it some turn, and it's ready. Simple food from the bounty of the land. Our pesto for lunch. It's spaghetti with pesto sauce. I'm not contented with the with the basil, how the basil was pounded. Pero di ako maka blender eh, so I have to accept it at this level. It should have been more uh, it should have been finer. Pound talaga, pesto talaga. Kaya natin na pesto eh. <laughs> pesto. Mm. But it's a taste. Uh, I, we should not be seeing the uh, leaves. We should be seeing sauce. Pero this is... Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. <laughs> Masarap. Medyo maalat lang siya ng konti. Because I added more salt to help in pounding. Yeah, maalat siya ng konti. But it's really delicious. I love the nutty flavor of the pine nuts. Gawa na rin. See how simple Italian cooking can be. It's pheasant cooking. Unlike uh, uh, French cooking, talagang pang probinsya. Pang pagkain bahay, pagkain bale. Yeah. But it's true to the tradition. Kaya, ang pagkain kasi mayroong kaluluwa yan, hindi palibas sa my brand at nakuha mo at mass produce eh, pagkain na, na masarap. 
No, mas masarap ang pagkain kung may kaluluwa. Ikaw ang gumawa, ikaw ang nagpatubo hanggat maari at galing sa iyong bakura. At simple, ito ang may kaluluwang pagkain. Gawa na, your kuya ng kawhi. In Holland, film during lockdown. Gawa na din. Challenge, gusto ba ng anak niyo ito? Tip! Kung wala kayong fresh basil leaves, bili na lang ng pesto na nakagarapon, which is widely available in Manila and in the Philippines as a whole. Yung mga restaurants sa Pilipinas that serve pesto sauce, sarili bang gawa yun kaya or from the botelia? May nabibili rin from the botelia, from the garapon. But you can make it yourself. This is best enjoyed with wine. Meron ako, ang liit na nga ng butelya. Kalahati pa. <laughs> Mag-wine tayo. Yeah. Oh. By the way, at the back, to create an Italian ambiance, nakalimutan ba yan? There's an artwork at the back. Yan ang una kong souvenir from Italy. That was in 2003. Pakita ko ng close-up. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to subscribe. And if travel is your preference, I'll be featuring my travel to Liguria in Italy where I learned how to make this. The source or the origin of the flavor. Watch me, my body, my mundo, that's our travel channel. It's all places, flavors, and events. And don't forget to come back for more of our cooking here at the small kitchen and at the garden. Your kuya and uncle here from Anda cooking in Harlem, but his heart is in Italy and Spain. <laughs> Until next time.